I recommend uh, drawing the notches on as well. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you found it, did you? Hey guys, so I know in the last video I said that in this video we'd be making hand pulls. I'm kind of feeling a bit at the moment. So I wanted to move on to something a little bit different because I've been doing a lot of hand pull commissions, which is great. But also it's kind of like, I want to do something different. Things you will need. A sharpie. And now I've figured a way how to use a sharpie when making a pattern without it having the possibility of going onto the fur when you wash it. Sharp scissors. Uh, old fabric scissors. I don't use these for fabric anymore because they're all tacky from cutting tape, cutting foam, and they're just not as sharp as they should be. Uh, so you want to make sure you separate your scissors, one for fabric, one for foam, one for paper and keep that separate because each one will grunt differently if it's not used for the right thing. We're also going to need some foam. I am using half inch and one inch. Oh, so smart. I tried. Glue sticks and a glue gun. And you're finally going to need some kind of idea or a pattern. Pattern I'm going to be using is the cloth suits big cat fursuit head base PDF pattern. <laughs> Um, I really recommend her stuff because uh, the instructions are really easy to follow but hopefully with my video combined if you want to make one for yourself it should be really really easy and uh, fingers crossed at least. <laughs> I do quickly want to say we do have a tombola at the moment and if you want to know more about that go check out the um, Facebook page link and go through our posts and it should all be there. Um, it's really fun we just had part one done. But if you don't win, you do get a small piece of art anyway. And so basically it's an everyone win situation. <laughs> so I've cut out all the pieces of foam. So with the head base bit, normally I would have this bit over this end and then just glue it round the back and this bit here. However, because of the piece of foam that I was using, it was an odd shape because I had already been using it. So this is what I had to do, but I'm just gonna uh, glue this bit and then glue it all the way around. If you do have to do this in separate pieces, you can have one half, one half glue it and then do these separate as well and glue it. Um, but this just makes it easier and means less gluing. With the jaw, instead of doing the whole jaw one inch, what I've done is done two half inch pieces. Now this means that when I put this bit on top, it's already been carved out. So it means I don't have to carve it out and risking bits being too thin. It's just a really easy way to do it. So I recommend doing it. <laughs> and that should be everything for now. So once you've cut everything out, put your glue gun on, ready to heat up. Quick tip, if you put it on the highest setting first, it will heat up quicker and then you can put it back down to a lower setting. Don't ask me how, I still can't explain it, but it does work. <laughs> you are also going to need some kind of um, Ed head. Um, it's recommended, but you don't actually need it. I've done so many bases where I literally don't use any kind of head, not even styrofoam, because it just flips up everywhere and it's really annoying. Um, <laughs> it's not heavy enough to just stay still, um, and then it just falls once you put the muzzle on because the muzzle's too heavy. Um, so you can do it like that, just know that your head base is will be smaller this is because you're pushing on it and it will start to kind of shrink but not a huge amount it's still wearable but for those who have like a 23 inch head uh wouldn't be able to wear it unless once fully furred you took out the back part which will be like an inch half an inch kind of situation you know where i'm coming from right <laughs> when it comes to gluing curved pieces you want to do a tiny bit at a time for the straight pieces you can just do the whole lot but I kind of go in the middle doing a kind of thick worm and then I just use the tip to kind of spread out all the glue.
I am going to cut out the mouth just because it makes it easier than doing it once we've stuck everything on. It's so difficult to get through everything. If the next bit I'm just going to attach a jaw just because then it's done ready for later. Now we're going to start by getting the muzzle pieces and the inner muzzle pieces so it looks like that. And now let's glue these pieces onto the muzzle pieces. Okay, now that these pieces have been glued together, we're now going to glue them like this. And you want the front to be like this. Uh, the reason why we had it in these two pieces is so that it's already carved out kind of like the um, jaw, except I had to do that. <laughs> um, but these pieces are basically ready carved out so that when you do put it on your face, you've got a nice breathe way, if that makes sense. We are going to glue the inner eyebrow pieces together in the little slits that we made. This is to make a curve. And then we're going to be gluing these together like that in just this bit. So now that these pieces are officially glued together, I'm going to put them to the side for now. And we are going to get the main cheek pieces, the base part for the cheeks to sit on. You're going to want to put it so the curvy bit at the bottom is at the bottom where the mouth is. Um, and this bit, uh, this top sharp curve bit goes under the face. And it's going to reach that line for the mouth that we have. This bit here where I've already cut it out. Um, and then it's gonna go from there just under the eye bit. Give this bit a little trim here because this bit is gonna go against the muzzle. So you wanna make it so it's as smooth as possible. So I'm just trimming this bit down. But I'm also going to trim around the edges to give it a really nice fade into the cheek rather than a blocky cheek. Okay, so I've carved it down just to give it a really nice curve and now I'm going to glue it on. I'm just going to look to see where I would like to have it and I when it comes to gluing I'm doing a little bit at a time. Trying to make a video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you should have a sign on the door, yes. Yeah. Making video. Recording. No, no. not live, luckily. Lucky, because I'm walking to the go <laughs> Yeah. Why are you, man? 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 Why are you,
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is get the jaw ready. Okay, so now it's been carved down. I'm not gonna cut the triangle here just until I put the nose on, just so I know how far I need to make the triangle because you don't want it too far up that it hasn't got this little lip before the nose. So I'm going to be gluing this on um, and it's gonna sit just under the uh, eyebrow kind of bridge here and it's actually gonna sit on the cheek bits at the edge. So now that that is in place, I'm going to do the outer muzzle pieces, so this little kind of egg shape with the point over here is going to go here on the muzzle. Okay, so the basis for everything is down. This is what it looks like so far. And I'm going to start work on the eyebrows. So I've put one eyebrow on, um, I'm hoping to glue this bit down a bit just to <laughs> make it better. But what I've done with the eyebrows is I've carved them around here so they're still quite chunky and you can see the definition. Uh, but down here I've, um, <laughs> can you see I've cut it at an angle just because I want it to kind of fade into the cheek. And then I've just kind of placed on had a look see how I like it um, and then I glue it on but obviously you have to make sure both sides are even. So the eyebrows are on. Okay, just because I want to move on to something else, let's do the ears. So I'm gonna get the ear pieces. Okay, so when it comes to the ear, you want the long bit to have um, this triangle on, <laughs> like this, and then it goes up, but it doesn't reach all the way to the other point. So don't worry about that. And then you want this bit on over here curving round so that when it does curve it creates a uh ear. it makes sense but let's glue it
Okay, put the ears to the side because now we're going back to the big face. So I've got the nose brush here and I'm going to be having this here just to create a smooth kind of transition. Okay, so you want to glue the two nose brushes together. Now we're going to move on to the outer cheek pieces. For the outer pieces you want the straighter edge to go um, at the top near the eye. Uh, so I'll get this one for example. You want it like this. So now that the jaw is on, I'm just going to place the nose, um, the, 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 <laughs> the main nose part, the actual nose itself, not the nose, bridge part, and I'm just going to place it in the middle and then decide where I'm making the triangle. So we have the nose, the eyebrows, the cheeks, the muzzle, everything is pretty much done. Apart from the ears and cheek fluff. Cheek fluff is optional, you don't have to, um, it just basically makes it look puffy on the cheeks. Uh, but it's all fluff anyway so it still looks good without them. Um, and also I normally find that if it's a, um, a non-domestic cat I would add cheek fluff. It's like with the canine head base, if it's a wolf I'll add cheek fluff, if it's not then I don't unless they specifically ask. Uh, but for now let's add in the ears. The ears have been pinned on and they just need to be glued. Um, you know how to glue them on, you can just uh, glue them a little bit at a time, take out the pin and then move up. So I would place it just kind of towards the back bit of the eyebrow, you can see that, and then have it going down. Make sure the point is going downwards. I guess you could have it up, but I think it looks good really going downwards. And like and subscribe if you do uh, like what I'm making here because it really helps. And even the little comments, I really appreciate it so much. So thank you. And I'm also so glad that I have been told that this is helping a lot of people, which is great because this is why I am doing it. <laughs>
I hope you guys have a really good day and I love you all. Stay safe. Bye.